Hey guys, Primal Chaos here. Welcome to the channel. And you know what? I couldn't move on <laughs> any further without addressing this one. Um, it's one of those ones where I, I've, I've done a few Ginger songs lately. If you're not a Ginger fan, which I mean, all of you seem to be anyway. Um, I'm sorry. I apologize. I've felt fallen deeply down the rabbit hole of Ginger. Um, but you know what? I'm going where the community is taking me. So every time, you know, I'm choosing a song now, it's really based on the, the amount of requests I'm getting for that song, you know, and this one, um, for one of a better word, you just, you guys just won't shut up about it. <laughs> and so that, that leads me to believe that I'm really going to enjoy this one. Um, it's a live video, which again, I want to kind of diversify a little bit and do some different things once in a while, rather than just doing all studio tracks. Cause I really love to, um, learn about these bands in their element, right? Like, you know, I don't want to obviously do all live, but I want to do a couple of studio songs, a couple of live songs and really get a feel for it because I'm truly finding a passion for these bands. And it's, it's with the help of all you guys bringing them to my attention. Um, I'm, I'm finding that I want to learn everything there is to know about these guys. Now, before you start typing, I've had 50 comments already telling me the entire backstory of Ginger. <laughs> so, um, you know, and, and my God, is that a generous use of time? It, I appreciate every single one. I do read them all. At this point, I can keep up. I'm starting to get to the point now where with a lot of comments, I've just got to like, like and, 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 and thumbs up. Um, I can't reply to everybody because I'm waking up in the mornings and there's 50 amazing comments. So at this stage, I'm getting through them all and reading them. Um, but yeah, I can't reply to everybody at this point, which is a bit tragic because, you know, that was part of the joy of this to begin with. But I'm going to keep doing as much as I can for as long as I can. Um, it looks like tonight at some point I'm going to um, break over into 900 subscriptions, um, which is, I can't even express to you how mind boggling that is. This channel is just over three weeks old and it's freaking me out. Um, but that said, we're here to listen to music. So let's do that, do that right now. Ginger, pit of consciousness. I'm excited. It's already good. What a great groove. I've said it many times about like extreme aggressive vocals, like growls and, and, you know, screams and stuff like that, that a lot of, um, a lot of the technique is calmness. It's, it's relaxation. It's not pushing. It's not screaming. It's not like yelling at the top of your, your lungs at a football referee. It's, it's, it's a whole other technique. And you can see that beautifully here with Tatiana. She looks like she's putting in no vocal effort at all. And she's, she's got all of the energy in the world to do stage presence sort of things without focusing um, on being able to hit notes that up until the last couple of years with the advent of bands like Arch Enemy and stuff like that, nobody knew a female could even make. You know, So, I mean, sure, there was probably people long before that. But, but I mean, in the, in the zeitgeist, in the main, like, you know, global kind of community of people that's kind of new right so um that you can just see how little um i don't want to say how little effort because that sort of makes it seem like it's not hard to do but it just seems so less physically taxing than you would expect if you were just listening to it right Oh, shout out to whoever mixed this. Um, this isn't straight out of a, um, out of, out of like the desk into a, into a two track recorder. This has been mixed and it seems like it's been mixed really well. Um, the thing that I'm finding most joy in is, is how 
how clear the bass is in this. And I, I can really hear like the bass melodies um, sitting right in their own space with a really nice tight bass sound. Um, and it's sort of distracted me a little bit. I want to focus more on the guitar playing, but I just keep on hearing these amazing little bass riffs and stuff like that. Uh, everything sounds amazing. And that little delay sort of echo on her voice at the end of that phrase was really cool. Let's go back. Nice. Nice riffs. So this is a question for anyone out there who's a drummer. Um, one thing I've, I've sort of picked up on, on this before uh, with Ginger is the drums seem unusual. And I know that his background is classical piano and he, and he sort of taught himself drums. Is that obvious to a drummer? Because to me, the rhythms are, like I've said before, it seems more like a percussionist, right? Um, there's very few times with just, there's just a bread and butter kind of grooves, the kick and the snare. A lot of it is sort of tom work and, and cymbals and stuff like that. He seems to be all over the kit rather than just sort of, you know, a straight groove with a hi-hat, you know? Um, and I don't know if it's just, I'm just, picturing that in context with this band and I'm, I'm just confusing myself or is he an unusual drummer because of his background? Um, I mean, aside from the fact he's clearly good, right? Is it something that's just different about his style? If you look at, listen to him and you're like, what is this guy doing? He doesn't drum like a drummer. Cause to me, that's what I'm feeling. Right. And again, I'm not a drummer. I have a digital kit right here that I'm useless at playing. That's about what I know about drums. <laughs> Low. You know, it's funny. <clears throat> I, I doubt it would be a conscious choice, but the thing I just noticed in that small passage there is there's heaps of production, um, which I'm assuming would be live too. I noticed the drummer has has um, laptops behind him, which I'm assuming would be running the the click track and the and the the production. And I know, I th I'm pretty sure I noticed two back there, so one might be a redundancy in case one goes out. You can quickly switch over to the other one, right? Um, and on that backing would be any sort of other embellishments and things like that, that they can't produce as a four piece live on stage. And so through that quiet part there, there was definitely harmonies and stuff in the, in the vocals and double tracking. But I noticed that when she started growling, um, it, it wasn't double tracked, at least what I could hear. And I wonder if that's a conscious choice because people seem to have this weird, um, thing where they feel like if a singer is singing over a backing track or, you know, if they're, they're layering things on stage that it's not real and it's, it's, you know, um, it's, uh, a little bit fake and it's cheating. Right. So in the case of like her extreme vocals, there doesn't seem to be any layering at all, but in the sung parts, they've got beautiful harmonies and stuff like that to embellish it. And uh, it's just, I'm just curious whether or not that was a choice so that they're not feeding the trolls. You know what I mean? Because you, you, you definitely, if you could hear a double track under that vocal, or if she was even layering like a higher part, um, in the backing track over her live low growl, people would look at that and go, she can't perform it live, you know? And that's, that's the, the troll nature of people who are critical of everything. Right. So, um, just, if you listen back to this part. You, you can hear like maybe two, three, even more voices under that mixed way back in the mix, but to give it sort of 
some dimension and some like it's just pleasant to listen to it. That's just a, the live vocal with some reverb on it. If I didn't know enough about her off stage, and 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 again, I'm, I'm scratching the surface here. You guys know way better than I do what she's like, right? I can only tell you what I've seen in interviews and stories I've heard about her being an introvert and stuff like that. If I'd only seen her live, my interpretation of her as a person would be 100% different. It would be 180 degrees op opposed to what you would believe it to be. And that's fascinating. <laughs> So I'm talking about two of the drums. See how Spartan that was? Let's go back. He's like, this would be a perfect opportunity for somebody to really show off a bunch of halftime chops and just bits and pieces of flourishes and things. And he's, he's literally like, he's doing a lot with what he's doing, but it's so sparse and subtle. It's, it's just such interesting choices. He's got that hat going. But just it's just interesting groove. <laughs> so I'm not sure where the Ukraine is exactly on a map, but is it on Earth? I'm just not sure because I'm pretty sure she's not from Earth. Nice. I just want to point out that little guitar lick that's repeating through there is just really nice. See if you can pick it out. Um, it's just, it's that sort of nasally kind of de -ne 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 part. If you're, if you're not good at picking out um, instrumentation, there's a lot of you are, are just music fans and not so much musicians. You might struggle to figure out what, what is bass guitar and what's guitar, um, things like that. Um, what you're listening for is that textural sort of high end nasally kind of sound coming um, through the melody there. And it's got that de -de 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 kind of thing going. <laughs> Right there. Like I said, this is a good mix, but I can't imagine what that sounded like coming through that house PA. That would have just rattled your bones, eh? It just doesn't seem possible. I know how it's done. I've seen her do it. I've seen others do it, but I just don't get it. It just doesn't, it just doesn't make sense. Oh, Cool. Uh, we'll be right back.
Hey guys, if you're one of the one in six men or one in 200 women that wake up every morning and put on a disastrous outfit that is chromatically abhorrent to the rest of society, you may be colorblind. We can do something about that. If you click on the link in the description, it'll take you to Enchroma where you can get an eye test, find out what kind of color blindness you have. And then while you're there, you can look at some corrective uh, lenses and some great frames that they sell. So uh, if you decide you want to pick something up, use the code chaos in the, in the checkout and get 10% off. Thanks guys, tell them Primal Chaos sent you. Okay, so what can we say about uh, Pit of Consciousness by Ginger live in Kiev? Um, just what a great song. Um, it just has so much light and shade in it. Uh, you never know sort of which direction it's going to go in. You know, you, you're sort of getting aggressive and sort of plotty with the da -na -na kind of things. Uh, do me. And then it switches it up and you've got this delicate sort of nice um, floaty kind of melody that's sung. Um, again, as with all these songs, the musicianship is spectacular. The mix is really nice. I love how you can sort of pick everything out of it. Um, obviously, it's never going to sound quite like a studio performance, um, but that's not always a bad thing because it lets you in on some little secrets that um, if you only listen to the studio version, uh, you kind of miss some relationships and stuff like that that present themselves when you hear it again live. So uh, it's not a bad thing at all. Um, yeah, I, I, I found the, the stage performance was really good. Um, I mean, you guys know I'm, I'm becoming the world's biggest ginger fan very, very quickly. And this has been, yeah, another great one in the list. I'm glad, I'm glad I checked this out live though. I'll definitely in my own time, check out the studio recording of this, um, because it seemed like a really cool song to sort of sink my teeth into, but just as a cursory glance as a reaction, um, there was a lot of little surprises and cool stuff to it. So yeah, again, man, that was, that was a great recommendation by many, many, many of you. <laughs> <laughs> again I, I love doing this this has been a great journey for me um and if you feel up to it and you think i've brightened your day at all please feel free to buy me a coffee i'll put a link in the description um if you, if not you know hey like share whatever subscribe all that sort of stuff um that's the best thing that you can you can offer me right now it's it's so good like seeing how how much reach i have now um and again, I'm, I'm at early stages. Like I said, I've only been doing this for a few weeks now, but man, the people checking in from Germany, Russia, um, Brazil, uh, the USA, Finland, someone from Finland welcomed me into um, the, the fold of Nightwish fans the other day. And that just blew my mind. So keep them coming, guys. It, it brings me such joy to hear from you guys. So, you know, um, anyway, that's about it for me on this one. Thank you. That was an exciting experience and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one.